name is Steven D'Angelo. I'm the founder of Green Oak Gin Smiths. We're a producer of, you know, very high quality gin. I guess, for lack of a better term, artisanal gin. Just a few weeks ago, uh, when this all, when this madness started, uh, kind of realizing that, wow, we're, there's, a, there's a run on this hand sanitizer. You can't buy it anywhere. The hospitals are running out of it. Uh, and we're actually pretty well set up to do it. A lot of the ingredients uh, are used, you know, uh, in, in alcoholic beverage products that also can be used. They're not typically used to make hand sanitizer, but they can be, uh, theoretically. Distillers understand how to, how to work with and how to process uh, high-proof alcohol, which is, you know, definitely comes with a danger attached to it. Um, so it's, a, it's actually pretty straightforward. You know, we're making hand sanitizer from a, you know, it's a very simple, but it's very effective hospital grade um, recipe that's approved by the World Health Organization and the CDC and the FDA. A few of the distilleries were thinking the same thing. Um, and there was a letter written to the governor's office. So there was a lot of people thinking it at the same time. It's a very, it's a very, um, something that we need to get done in a timely fashion and execute because um, who knows, you know, what next week looks like, two weeks, three weeks. It seems like it's about to be a bit of like a tsunami. The restaurants and the bars are shut down, so that's usually about 50% of our business. So it's definitely a big slowdown. I mean, the retail um, side of things is it's pretty busy because people are at home and they don't have much else to do but, but drink. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the business, the gin business is definitely hurting. There's no doubt about that. Um, but this helps to keep us busy, helps to keep us working, which is a good thing.